Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from sortofinteresting.com and today you're joining me on board good old narrowboat Abel's Ark for what's not going to be a proper boat life vlog style video. There's going to be a lot of me talking to the camera as I really want to just talk very briefly about some of my plans for the future as we reach the end of 2018 and head over into 2019. So the first thing I'm going to do, this is number one on my plan, I'm going to close the fire door as it's extraordinarily warm having it open and having the heat just pour out onto me. And, well, you can see how much dimmer the fire's gone, because the glass in the door is covered in such terrible stuff. Anyway, um, as I say, in this video, I really want to talk about my plans for the end of the year going into next year. And I suppose, really, if we look back at the year that's just happened very, very briefly, it seems no time at all ago that I was... Here, stood on board talking about how I've just bought Abel's Ark at the end of April and having all these plans of things that I was going to do and all the rest of it. And here we are now, halfway through October, in fact, uh, beyond halfway through October, I think, and the time seems to have vanished and I seem to have got a fraction of what I'd hoped to achieved. So I obviously bought the boat and went full on into boat life of, right, let's get all these odd jobs done on board, let's get this done, that done, uh, pour in these uh, videos onto YouTube with great gusto and regularity, these ridiculous half an hour long mega vlog episodes I was doing with dozens and dozens of bits of footage chosen from hundreds of little video clips that I'd filmed when I was out and about on the canal and doing odd jobs on board. Um, as well as doing uh, loads of hours at my actual job in a supermarket and then obviously all of the cycling commutes, biking in and out between there and going off wandering up mountains and as you may have known it was a big busy year and it was great fun and I absolutely loved it until obviously August happened where suddenly as many of you know I just found myself constantly being ill and about three separate occasions I found myself properly flat out having to take a few days completely off doing anything whatsoever just being in bed going oh I feel terrible oh help me oh where's me nan and granddad help me <laughs> and so on so um basically then I went into September thinking right gotta slow this down because I've totally burnt out and I've completely derailed my own uh, plans and activities by my sheer sort of obsession with getting as much stuff done as soon as possible. And I'd started to completely overlook the basic principle of why don't you just enjoy your life? You've just bought a boat. You've got this amazing canal and all this scenery around you that you thought that you had given up forever two years ago when you left Narrowboat Tilly. Just enjoy it, Dan. Don't make the mistakes of the past again. So I went into September thinking... Just ignore any deadlines, things will take however long they take, don't have any expectations, uh, just just relax, work on writing your book and stuff like that and things that you enjoy and just take it easy. And so here we are, mid-October, and I've got to say, I'm still not entirely certain what level of, uh, what balance I want of chaos and calm in my boat life on board the Ark, but I feel a lot better and I feel a lot happier than I have done for literally years, possibly ever in my life, and that's including all the wonderful years I spent on board Narrowboat Tilly. And really, that's because I have totally and utterly given up on all sort of attachment to objectives. So, for example, um, pretty much all of the boat jobs are done now that need to be done. There's a little tiny bit of painting left to do, but Everything from getting locks on the door, from getting a hook to hold the door open, we've got the oven in the background fitted, we've got the uh, lighting, all sorts of stuff's gone on. So that I'm happy with now and I'm happy that there's nothing to be overly concerned with uh, inside the boat. However, there's one huge elephant in the room and it's not me, thank you very much, rude, um, and that is basically that this boat still needs to come out of the water, have a good route around underneath, see what the condition of the hull is like, be blacked or have work and maybe new steel put on if needs be, and then carry on on my merry way back onto the canal. So that's something I've decided now is going to have to be put off until the start of 2019, as basically I just want to 
brace myself in case there is some serious work that needs doing and there is a serious expense attached to that work I want to just be in a, a better financial position overall so I want to take a few more months just to save and save and put money to the side and then deal with whatever there is to deal with once the boat comes out of the water in the future. I've got to say, in all honesty, I feel slightly better about the situation and the potential of the condition of the hole and also the potential of... I, I feel better about some of the work that may need doing if work needs doing on the hole too compared to how I did previously as two of my friends who are very very knowledgeable about boats have sort of reassured me on certain elements about things like that and of course we'll never know for sure until it comes out of the water but I've got a little bit more peace of mind to wait until the start of 2019 so fingers crossed and touch wood Ooh. Everything hopefully, hopefully will be fine. We'll see how it goes. Um, so that's the one big thing that still needs to be done. And apart from that, I would say I'm pretty much happy with everything in the boat. There's a few things, like I say, just a tiny bit of painting to do. And just very simple things like tinkering with this and that. And just fiddling around like window fittings and stuff. Just making them a little bit uh, more flush and neater. And hopefully a bit more waterproof if we have any uh, gale force winds driving the rain up against the windows and stuff. But apart from that. That I'm happy with. The boat I am happy with, which I think comes uh, comes through in these videos quite often. What are my actual plans for cruising? So, by the end of October, I'm going to be out of the marina and on the canal. And I probably won't be coming back into a marina until sometime in 2019, like early on. So I basically... Just And this is going to sound probably ridiculous when you look at some of the videos of the amazing boating and places that I've been recently on board. But over the next two months, as we round out 2018, I'm just going to enjoy having a boat. And that's the main purpose. I'm going to go out onto the canal. I haven't got any specific plans of where I want to be on one particular day, apart from Christmas Day, where I want to wake up. But basically, the general idea and general gist of the next two months is just go out onto the canal, spend maybe a night or two here, maybe a week in one place, maybe two weeks in another place, and just enjoy everything that I love about boat life. And that is opening the curtains or raising the blinds as it is on this boat and seeing different views whenever you want, seeing these amazing rural vistas. And of course, as we're now in the winter months, there's going to be far fewer boats around on the canal so it's going to be a much quieter environment in general and also with the winter months being here hopefully hopefully we'll have some nice cold nights so not only can I get the fire going all the time but I'll be able to stop in some of these beautiful rural canal locations under absolutely beautiful clear dark skies that are perfect for astronomy and depending on how I feel I may actually push the boat out not literally and buy myself a new small telescope. I don't know, only about, I think, um, between 40 and 60 pounds, the little uh, Celestron travel scope that I used to have uh, cost me. And it's a fantastic telescope. This isn't a plug for it or anything, although I, I'll leave a review from a very, very shy, embarrassing young Dan Brown. I'll leave a review of my telescope in the description below for anyone who wants to look at it. But for a small portable telescope that allows you to see thousands more stars than the naked eye, I absolutely can't recommend it enough. So I may pick up one of those again, just obviously being out and about in these beautiful winter conditions and hoping with my fingers crossed for dark skies. And that's my my whole plan really for boat, boat life and winter is just enjoy it. As many of you know, I left boat life after the historically wet winter of 2015 into 2016, where I had all sorts of trials and tribulations going down muddy towpaths on these massive cycling commutes in and out to the boat to Oswestry Street to work. And it was mayhem and it helped convince me to give up boat life. But I feel much better about that possibility happening again on board Abel's Ark because obviously it's a bigger, far more comfortable boat to begin with than Tilly was. Bless Tilly, I absolutely love Tilly and can't fault her for that particular moment in my life. She gave me everything that I wanted. But obviously not only have I got a bigger indoor space and a more comfortable living space, 
that I've got a covered section on the bow and the stern. I've pointed to the wrong directions when I said those then. But obviously having somewhere outside of the main indoor boat area where I can leave a coat hanger with my wet clothes and stuff so it's not steaming up the inside of the boat. Just that alone is going to make a huge difference to me being on my bike in a wet winter uh, this year on board this boat compared to years gone by on board Narrowboat Tilly. Another huge thing that's important now when we get into talking about life plans and that for the end of the year regarding boat life and regarding commuting. I apologise for turning my back on you my friends but I have got just out of shot, typically just difficult thing. I've got my L plates, I have got my uh, driving theory test booked already and I will be taking driving lessons uh, possibly as you're watching this video. It depends what time of day you're watching this video and hopefully I'll be taking my practical test in the near future as well and then even if I don't get a car straight away, which I haven't got any plans to, again I'm trying to think of being sensible, saving money, as many of you know, my whole thing through all of my life has been to never have any debt, never borrow money off anybody, never owe money to anybody, and again, right up to the modern day, that still remains the case. Um, so, obviously, looking at cars, looking at serious work that might need doing on board Abel's Ark, that's why I want to keep the money in the bank and just try and add to it and add to it and then buy, spend it, get work done on the boat as is necessary over the next few months. Um, so yeah, that's going to be a huge thing obviously potentially in the near future. We'll see how that goes, I'll keep you posted. And really I suppose in terms of other things in my life, the main thing now going forward is writing my book. The next book about settling down and coming back to narrow boat life, why I decided to come back to boat life and the sort of the personal side and the personal elements of what I've said in the past about my short books that there's a lot you can put into writing that I feel you can't really put into words to a camera because it just sounds far too cheesy and somehow over personal and over familiar somehow and I just absolutely love writing as many of you know I always say that I would rather be known for my writing and my books than my videos. That's not to say I don't love doing the videos and that I'm not hugely grateful for the millions of views that this channel's ended up getting overall. So thank you so much. So yeah, I'm hoping that the next book might be out even before the end of this year. But as it goes, I write thousands of words, I delete thousands of words, and then I rewrite thousands of words almost exactly the same as they were when I started. It's just my unfortunate writing style. But I hope that you'll enjoy my next book when that's finally released. And I hope that it might shed a few little bits of light on my life and return to the canals. And thank you again to everybody who's read my previous books about boat life. Visit narrowboatbooks.com. You'll find them for Kindle and as a paperback. And one short one as an audiobook too. Anyway... Um, I suppose really that's going to be my main thing for the rest of the year. Obviously my actual real life job in a supermarket and writing the book. Um, in terms of general life, uh, the only thing that I really want to work on is my little uh, model railway on board the boat. I've given up the rooftop railway for the time being as a bad idea because I think Particularly, again, as I had so much stuff going on when I first bought the boat and, like I say, led to that massive burnout and illness and stress over August. Uh, trying to add on a full potential 70-foot circular track onto the roof of the boat. It was, it's just something that I had to hold my hands up and say, you know what, I've got massively important things that need doing before I build a 70-foot track on a boat roof. So thank you for all the support. I hope you'll, oh, please do. I'll leave a link in the description to this as well. But I do have a dedicated model railway YouTube channel. So you can check out the model railway that I was building before I left land life and had to destroy to come to boat life. But you'll also see the things that I'm working on now. You've probably seen at the start of this video when I showed like just a quick walkthrough of the boat, um, a close up of something like this that I'm working on. This is the first part of my, my little cardboard church building that I'm uh, putting together. absolutely love these cardboard Metcalf buildings. They're fantastic models. 
Um, great fun, take forever to do, but it's something I really enjoy, especially in the dark nights on board now with a roaring fire behind me, which doesn't look too roaring at all there, but I daren't open the door because of the heat that will come out and get me. So, yeah, really, just enjoy life. That's that's all that I'm trying to do. Um, obviously, writing my book's a huge thing that takes hours upon hours upon hours and months on end. It's already been months in the works, so... I'm getting to that point where that's getting a little bit stressful because it's, like I say, it's just that balance of you always have that self-doubt, I think, when you read stuff and you think, oh no, rewrite that, rewrite that. But then you re realise you've rewritten almost exactly the words that were there before and you think, could have spent that five, six, seven hours doing anything else more productive, but oh well. So, yeah, uh, Model Railway, writing my book, doing my actual real-life job in a supermarket, and just enjoying being on a boat. I was foolish when I came back to the boat and was trying to do all this stuff all at once, and I did start to fall into the trap that I fell on, uh, fell into on board Narrowboat Tilly, where so much of my life was taken up worrying about YouTube and got to get these videos, got to get these videos out. And let's be realistic, I mean, I could post a video every two days, I could witter on at you like I have done in this video, and I could make a load of money, not a load of money, but I could make probably hundreds of pounds more a year maybe if I did something like that, but I hope that now the videos I'm posting are far better quality than just when I was trying to tune them out all the time and in that panic and when I was trying to do half an hour videos week after week after week, it, it becomes stressful <laughs> to the point where I was like up at all hours wildly panicking, like, oh I've got to do this, right, do the voiceover, do that, do that. But ultimately, I'm glad that I went through that phase and that I did all those videos and did such long videos because it's led me to a point where I now feel comfortable, settled, and yeah, I can do that if I want, but I'd rather do stuff that I think is better quality, less frequent, I may make less money out of it, but ah well, it's YouTube, as I say, for years and years and years, I was on YouTube before you could make a single penny off it. So thank you for all the people who tune in, thank you for the people who have read my books, and I hope that you're continuing to enjoy what I upload and what I write. Uh, as I've said before, I think that people underestimate just how much the book sales really do underpin all of this uh, video production stuff of buying me laptops and cameras and phones with quality cameras built into them and stuff, although this dark lighting condition's probably not been great for this video. And as I say, it just really means a huge amount to me to have this sort of support. So thank you so much. Please do consider checking out the website as well these days as I'm posting a proper little article, a little, I don't know, not story, but a little sort of almost just a proper vlog. Ugh. What am I saying? I'm spoiling this video right at the last minute, so I refuse to edit it at this point. So I'll just say, please do check out the website because I'm posting proper blog things there that are almost little miniature versions of the videos wrapped into photos and words. So that's sortofinteresting.com, please do check that out. As I say, please do consider supporting me and checking out the short books that I write. You'll find them in paperback, Kindle and all the rest of it. Narrowboatbooks.com or links in the description to those. And well, as always, feel free to add me on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Tumblr. Uh, is there something else I'm thinking about? Probably. But feel free to check the links in the description and find me all over the internet posting a lot of general boaty and canal scenery. Till the next time though my friends, have an absolutely fantastic day. And I really do mean that because you've so good to me over the years. So have an amazing week and I will see you very soon again with hopefully a short film very soon too. Maybe by the end of October if all goes to plan. It'll only be a very short film, but hopefully, again, it'll be a better quality video. Especially a better quality than this video. Anyway, until the next time, my friends, keep it boat-worthy, keep it interesting, and of course, farewell.